Wait, what is this Saito is about to unveil? Could it be? <gasps> wow, it's so light! The exquisite material floating in the breeze is the silk fabric Saito developed, said to be one of the most sheer silks in the world. The almost transparent fabric changes color according to the light. It really is fit for a celestial maiden's robe. We went straight in to see how it is made. This is the loom that produces the ultra sheer fabric. The warp and weft threads are woven exactly as ordinary silk would be. The difference lies in the thickness of the thread. This is it. It's invisible even when drawn out right before your eyes. Only one-sixth the width of a human hair. It is far thinner than the thread commonly used in thin silk manufacture. The key to achieving an ultra-fine fabric lay in an ultra-fine thread. But weaving the special thread was no easy task. The biggest challenge was that it would break all too easily. The weight used to keep the warp thread under tension was the problem. The amount of tension the weight applied to each thread varied. But even a fraction of the difference is too much for ultra-fine thread. For 120 centimeter wide fabric, 14,000 warp is used. How could the tension on the warp thread be kept uniform? Saito noticed the loom's drop pins. A drop pin is a metal pin set on each warp thread to help detect broken threads. When a thread breaks, the pin drops like this, and a sensor is activated to stop the loom. Saito thought that if he also used the pin as a weight, it could maintain an even tension on all threads. After exhaustive testing, he found the ideal pin weight, 2 grams. After four intense years, he had succeeded in creating what is now considered to be one of the sheerest silk fabrics in the world. Saito had an incentive to create his new fabric. Kawamata in Fukushima Prefecture had long been renowned for its sheer silk fabric manufacture. But the competition from cheaper overseas products had caused a rush of factory closures. Saito was moved by a strong desire to revive his hometown. Thread making, dyeing and loom improvements, many of his artisan friends gave him a hand. Saito felt the importance of such human bonds all the more when the Great East Japan earthquake hit in March 2011. Others working in the silk business brought gasoline and food all the way from Guma Prefecture for us. I was really grateful. I had told them that they didn't have to come at a time like this when highways were closed off, but they still made the effort despite the time it must have taken. A human sensibility really is important in making products. Your feelings for others show in what you make. It's the same everywhere in the world. Without common humanity, it won't work. You have to care about others. Silkworms in Japanese labs are spinning a new kind of fabric. They've been genetically engineered to produce silk that glows. And researchers hope the worms will help revitalize the industry that played a big role in the modernization of Japan.